Raising their right hands may be the easy part of the job for the newly elected governors taking office this week. In California, Jerry Brown took over a state facing a $28 billion budget deficit and unemployment over 12 percent. No more smoke and mirrors on the budget, no empty promises. Brown's No Frills inaugural ceremony featured a high school choir and hot dogs. In Nevada, the new governor is Republican Brian Sandoval. At 14.3 percent, his state has the highest unemployment in the nation. We live in a time when the odds seem to be against us. In New York, Andrew Cuomo became governor of a state with a $10 billion deficit. He came in asking for a pay freeze for all state employees. My gray hairs are multiplying just thinking about what we have to do. Here in California and across the country, what governors are likely to have to do is cut spending. It's one reason that in the 37 states that elected governors, 23 went to Republicans and only 14 to Democrats. But on Inauguration Day, at least, no matter their party, the governors sound much the same. If you had to sum up uh, the message that uh, just about every governor is telling constituents, it's this. This is going to hurt. If there's any good news for the new governors, it's this. State tax revenues have climbed from $1.27 trillion in the first quarter of 2009 to $1.33 trillion in the last quarter of 2010, an increase of $61 billion. And the governors proclaim enthusiasm for the challenge. I take my oath proudly optimistic. California, here I come, right back where I started from. Indeed, Jerry Brown was first elected California governor in 1975. His predecessor was a movie star, Ronald Reagan. This time, Brown follows another movie star, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who posted his own Twitter video as he left the tough job of governor behind. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.